was sort of a computer nerd when I was younger. I had got, got a Commodore 64 in, in junior high school and that was my life for for quite a while and before that I had a uh, the Sinclair 2000 that was my first computer which was a uh, one had 1k of memory it was expandable to 16k and it was like a speak and speak and spell with a little plastic keyboard interface You know, the first few bands I was in were kind of typical, kind of indie rock sort of whatever. There weren't, they weren't necessarily specifically genre based, but they're, you know, you're kind of experimenting and then started to get more and more into experimental music. Like uh, we did a, we started a band in 93 in called uh, Physics. <laughs> The idea was just basically one chord for 45 minutes, but it was improvisation with themes. I guess the classical guitar training came in, but not, not that much. So it's kind of a mixture between the playing and lots of different, just in the local scene of actually, you know, doing the, the musician thing and then being really in the computers and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, you can actually record onto computers now and edit stuff. For me it was kind of a natural progression, like wanting to start implementing not just electronic gear but actual computers into, into playing because the possibility was you could fine tune things to such an extent that it was, it was like, wow, this is a great thing we could possibly do. For me, the thing that I think is interesting about computers is they're so good at making random. And for me, the idea is you set up some sort of situation where it creates some sort of random phenomenon or whatever uh, a process, and humans are really good at picking out what they like. And there's the human element. So, you know, some sort of process that sets up like a whole bunch of like things, and you go, you eliminate that down to a smaller set of of parameters and then you go oh how about this one and this one and then pretty soon you're okay I like these ones and then it but you could never have come up with it Which leads to the whole question of the dehumanizing of stuff too, where you're like, you know, isolating yourself, uh, which is a whole nother question. But yeah, it's true. I mean, the idea of like, hey, I can have someone else play my parts now, and I don't have to worry about them coming to band practice. I can just do it. But you know, the dilemma right now is ultimately a computer is keeping the rhythm usually, and pe humans are following along with it. And you can try to make the computer as intelligent as possible, but ultimately it's it's usually it's not as open. <laughs> they just feed back on themselves. Mm -hmm. 
but now it's turning in the, on the computer. It's kind of funny. I'm loading up the same programs and the same plugins and doing the same thing. And it's for me, it's always trying to find a new way of doing something to get something out of it, that to expand the horizon of and the palette of, of making of things. Thank you.